Have your own sessions have been a long time coming, I've got to say, because I've always wanted to do something like this. I've experimented with it in different shows, in different tours in, in the past years, putting a song in here or a song in there, interpreted in a very different way. Um, probably the, the easiest example is with I Should Be So Lucky turning that into a torch song. The dream is all I do. If only that come to rule, I should be so lucky. So it's been happening for many, I'd say, over 10 years and I was maybe not so secretly plotting that one day it would be amazing to be able to reinterpret all the songs like that. So um, to celebrate 25 years in the industry, we finally made it happen. Do you know what? Recording at Abbey Road is just, it's amazing. To be honest, I was prepared to be a bit underwhelmed or I don't know I just thought people make such a big deal and you hear everyone saying exactly what I'm saying now which was Abbey Road's just amazing and you just wonder how can a place have have that effect on people and yet it does it's beautifully welcoming all the people who work here are, are great and the sound is beautiful and I guess you know you can't help but knowing in the back of your mind that you're at Abbey Road so it was just it was a beautiful beautiful experience That was a half part which songs to do, so we, we did a stack. <laughs> um, and because there's such kind of, well some of them are quite radical interpretations of the song compared to what, how they are originally, some were less successful than others and you know, I guess you, you just do a, a bunch and you've got your shining stars and, and the ones that really, really work and um, a couple that, in fact, maybe two songs we tried in two different ways each of them so it was kind of even as we were recording we were still experimenting which was um, that was rewarding as well I'm standing here with you I want you to move even if it throws you to the fire fire surprising in back in rehearsals before we got to Abbey Road firstly that was incredible just to be with the band and be able to have that time to just feel the songs in a different way and I have to kind of rejig my brain because I'm so I'm so uh, programmed to perform some of these songs in a certain way and just with the different musical interpretation I would find myself singing a slightly different melody or different timing so yeah, it was it was surprising in, in with some of the songs, um, and I now have new favourite parts in some of them, uh, which were kind of born in that rehearsal period. Distant child, my flower, are you blowing in the breeze? Can you feel me as I breathe life into you? Flower's been around for a while and. It really touches me that it's a fan favourite and, you know, this year's been a lot about listening to the fans and connecting with them and trying to surprise them all year long. And there's never been a studio recording of Flowers, so it just seemed like maybe it wasn't meant to happen before being here at Abbey Road. I think it's a beautiful interpretation of the song. You know, it, it had its time. It, it's funny, I've never... I don't think I've ever done a song like that where it was written, it was kind of put aside, then I did it uh, on tour. So it had a kind of big unveiling and it was received very well on that. 
Um, but yeah, it was kind of bringing it back to the intimate way that it was in the demo was amazing and I'm excited for the fans to hear that. Obviously Flower wasn't part of reinterpreting songs, in fact it's the only song on the album that just is what it is. But it's such a, it, it, I don't know, Flower has its own life and it has its own kind of fan club. So for me it, it really meant a lot to be able to put it as an extra gift on this album. Especially for Steve Anderson and myself, this is, we've been like, you know, nah, 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 concocting this plan for a while, thinking, God, this has got to happen one day. We want to interpret the songs like this. So for him and I, it was really, we, I think we kind of sniggered a lot like naughty schoolgirls. Maybe Steve Anderson won't appreciate me saying that about him, but there was a bit of like, we did it, we hear it, Abbey Road. Um, and then of course Colin Elliott being brought on board to co-produce with Steve Anderson just brought his strengths to the party and of course to be with my Aphrodite band that was brilliant. Uh, they're all so talented and I probably threatened that something like this could have been on the cards and again the, the fact that it's become a reality it's just it's amazing for me and, and I couldn't think of nicer people to share it with frankly. Oh, come on.